welcome back to a, another sweetest vlog i'm about to head out once again in my vlogs i feel like i'm always bopping around doing something i need to desperately wash my car and do really exciting errand things like that like i need to go to either target or marshall's pick up some like nail files um i want to try fake eyelashes that's never been my thing because my eyes are so small that I feel like it's really hard for me to find eyelashes. But maybe I'll find some today. I saw Janine. Like, she's always wearing such beautiful lashes. And I'm like, I need to try that. I need to try it. Um, also, can we just take a moment of appreciation for my necklaces? I got this custom made yesterday. And it's gold plated. And I got like a, a gold A, like customized into that. And it usually, uh, it's going to stand for Andrew, which is my husband, but also works for me because my name starts with an A. So without further ado, let's get started with these errands. Oh, I think I'm going to get a tea. I'm going to tea from that, like, it's like an Herbalife storefront. I don't know. Y'all can hate on Pyramids, Kings, whatever, but their teas and their shakes are good. So I'm going to go get one of those. Oh, she's so pretty. Let's see how she tastes, right? There's so many little light glares. All right, let's try this Mega Tea Rainbow Nerd or something. Mm. So good. Uh, so good. It's just super fruity. And apparently this burns like 100 calories. That's crazy. It's like magic. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, let's go clean my car for the first time in three years. <laughs> I will show y'all what I got from the stores when I get back because we are going on a little a sushi happy hour date. Yummy. I would just like for all of us to take a moment of silence and appreciate this outfit I'm wearing because I feel like a literal princess. I received a Love Shack fancy package. I say it like they gifted it or something or like they sent it to me. No, I spent money on Love Shack Fancy. I got a new skirt that I have been eyeing for months and it finally went on sale. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to do it. I feel like if you invest in a good skirt and you love it, it's worth it. And plus it like really wasn't that whatever, whatever. Let me show you. Let me show you. Moment of silence. Oh, my gosh, look at this. I feel like a princess. So I have all of my items I need to show you that um, I got yesterday. But before that, I want to share my makeup look because I did something different for the first time ever. So I'm currently wearing lashes and I never wear lashes because I have really small eyes even though right now it doesn't necessarily look like I have small eyes. Without makeup, I do have small eyes. So lashes are really hard for me to, to find so that it, the lashes aren't like so extreme and in your face. I want like, I just like a natural glam look, you know what I'm saying? Like I could wear these lashes every day. So I got these Eyler, Eyler, Eyler. Allure pre-glued naturals and I've never seen pre-glued. I've seen like um, the magnet and all that. So I love it. It was pre-glued because I'm, I just can't do it. I can't do fake lashes, but this was so easy. I literally just, I popped them on. I popped them on and I'm shook. I'm shook. They look so good and they're so comfortable. Like what? What? Okay. And then the next thing I had to get um, I actually saw Chloe talk about these in one of her, um, one of her videos and I was like, oh, I need to get that. I picked up this Pixie and it's Pixie by Petra Liquid Fairy Lights and I got it in rose gold. 
had to do it and it is beautiful so I'm gonna close my eyes and let you see the shimmer it's it's like subtle but like still there you know it's not like in your face but it comes out so nice and you literally just use this that's it you don't have to use anything else I mean you can if you want to but I just use that and it blends and I put it right over my like Fenty Beauty eyeshadow that I always use and I am loving my makeup look and can we appreciate this uh my cat wings lately shout out to elf liquid eyeliner that is the best stuff okay anyway let's let's get to the other good stuff okay what are you doing silly what are you doing oh my gosh bless you bless you to heck and bob and back all right all right all right okay so we're gonna start with the random things that i got the other day with maddie when we were bopping around getting lunch i might have had a glass of wine or two okay this is so exciting actually because I got a candle that smells like strawberry jam. Yes. Oh my gosh. I have to light this up like today, right now. Um, so like Bath and Body Works has that strawberry shortcake candle and I love it. But if there's still like something off about it, let me know what you think. Like, I don't know. There's something off about the scent. Just a little bit. But this smells like straight up strawberries. So excited about that. I freaking love strawberries. And then I just picked up these random shorts. They're just like comfy shorts. Is this from Homage? Let me know if you know what Homage is. I don't know if that's just an Ohio thing. It might be just an Ohio thing. But I got these like comfy shorts. I like sized up so I can like hike them up and they can be um, high waisted and they're so soft. So that's just what I got there. Oh, and duh. My, um, I have a, uh, I went to this place where you can, like, customize your own jewelry, and I'm wearing it right now. Um, Maddie and I were, like, best friends, and our, like, my husband and her boyfriend are, like, best friends, too. So we decided to get these, like, nat matching necklaces to, uh, the other day. And this is, like, gold-plated, and then I got this customized A. And then I bopped into Michael's the other day because I have been really, really after these um these letters that are gold because i want to do um a couple more like bracelet um crafting and all of that and i've been after these like gold lettering so i got that i think this, this is like 15 bucks for all this and then oh i got a glue gun because i'm going to finally be doing the rest of my shabby chic diys today so i got a glue gun super inexpensive i think this was like three bucks and then I'm gonna explain in a minute why I got these adorable crafting tapes. So they have like florals and teacups and let's see, it'll focus for you. Because I found a new vision board that I will be doing. I went into Marshall's and this is the only thing I found on Marshall's the other day, but I wasn't mad about it because I'm like, this is actually cute and perfect because I've been wanting to create a vision board and it's going to be a little different than an ordinary vision board. I have like an outline I want to do that I got from this book that I read. So we're going to do that today, I think. That'll be fun. Oh, and I guess the last thing that I got at Marshall's, I like picked this up as an um, impulse buy. I just got these like heart clips because I love putting like little clips in my hair here so that's cute oh and then I bopped into Target this morning and I've been going through a whole like um redesigning my life probably for the past like eight months or so um because I really changed up my style and my aesthetic and I just want my whole life to be just like streamlined and like cohesive because I'm a psycho and so I threw out I threw out so many of my shoes and my sandals that I literally have like two pairs and I'm like I can't keep wearing these they're not looking great so Target had a like they were in shambles there the Target I went to was not well but I found these and I thought these were really cute excuse me oh my gosh yeah we love the sparkle we love the sparkle so I got those because I'm having a girls night this Saturday that I'm so excited for and I want to feel put together and um, that's really it so I really want to get into the crafting that I've been putting off for so long so let's go do that oh, 
Okay, so we got everything here for the first craft. I'm gonna be making like a shabby, chic, beachy craft. I talked about this in my other vlog a couple, uh, probably months ago at this point. So what I'm gonna do is I got this fake sand. I'm gonna put the sand in here and then I'm gonna add the pink glitter. And then I'm gonna put the seashells on top. And then I want to take my hot glue gun and use this um, lace ribbon and glue with the top of it. So let's get it. Now we are going to be making a bracelet. I finally can make the bracelet I've been wanting to make for a while. I'm gonna be using these. Wait, these. Oh my God, I have silver too. So I, got, I have gold and silver. I'm gonna be using the gold lettering. Got this at Michael's. And then I got my fabric from Joann's from a while ago. If you remember my last, probably a few months ago, my other vlogs. So I'm gonna spell out the word sweet. Obviously for Sweetest Vlogs by Allie. And we're just gonna have a good time. It's so therapeutic just being off my phone and crafting and being in my zone, whether I'm just sitting here in silence or listening to something, it's actually so therapeutic. That's why I love crafting lately because it forces you not to be on your phone. And I'm like, I am like, I'm just addicted and I don't need to be. That's not what life is about. So let's make some bracelets. And here is the finished product of my sweet bracelet. My sweet, shabby, chic bracelet. For the next shabby, chic DIY, I am going to be making a vibration board, okay? So I got this idea from this book called Light is the New Black. This book pretty much changed my life. I love this book so much. I already finished it, but I'm going back and like reading certain parts of it. And so the pages are really digestible and it's like each page is like a different chapter, but really it's just something that's like um, just new knowledge and something that is put into simple words and I love that. So this one page has create a vibration board and I'll pop up the page right here. So it says, in order to attract something into our lives, we need to be a vibrational match. If we continue to focus on it as something we want in the future, that thing will always remain in the future. I've had success with vision boards, but there are always some things that I could never quite become a vibrational match for. Then I had an idea to combine the following things together, which are the things we're calling in, AKA the things that we want, the things we've already called in, AKA what we've already attracted, and the things that light us up, AKA what we love. When we bring our future wants into alignment with what currently is, our brain cannot distinguish between the two and so it's much easier to become a vibrational match 
thus helping us attract it more quickly. I call it a vibration board. So it's a vision board plus good feel board, feel good board. So alongside the convertible, the beach house, my affirmation, I shine my light as far as the universe sees. In meeting Oprah, of course, I have pictures of the people I love the most, pictures of me with my teachers, articles written about me, and a love letter from my fiance. So my feel good moments are mixed up with the future manifestations. And that is exactly what I'm gonna do. So I'm actually gonna break it up into those three categories and write those things down first so then I'm not just like on Pinterest, just like pinning random things. So we're gonna break it down to what we want, what we've already attracted, and what we love. So I'm gonna take my little strawberry notebook here and write each page of like those categories. Then I'm gonna go on to Pinterest, make a board, and then I'm gonna send it in to um, CVS. If you send uh, the pictures to CVS, they can print them out. So that's what I'm gonna do. And then we can put together this beautiful vibration board. Okay, it's a few hours later and I picked up my photos. I want to read you off what I listed just in case you want to do this and you need some inspiration or ideas of like things to list. So I have my three strawberry lists here. So my first list is things that I have already attracted. So Andy, which is my husband, I know I manifested that man. Um, healthy and happy marriage, our house, a real estate business, quitting my nine to five, money and time freedom, traveling monthly, health and happiness, my girlfriends, and my YouTube subscribers. So that is what I have manifested already and I show gratitude for that almost every single day. But this is just another friendly reminder to be, to be on my vibration board. All right, and here is the list of things that I want to manifest. So I want to grow my YouTube channel. 1k is my first goal and then i want to create my own small business i'm not too sure what that looks like but something with like accessories or jewelry i think that's something that i i want to pursue a beach house love shack fancy shabby chic chanel wardrobe so i want to focus more on buying more high-end items and less fast fashion and then i put paris and then I want to manifest another girly friend, like a girl that is super similar to me. I would love to have a friend that's girly. And then more love and light, abundance of health, wealth, and happiness, and our cottage finally being done. <laughs> and then what I love list is everything you already know. Being girly, love shack fancy, shabby chic, traveling, makeup, Andy and Mac, my friends, shopping, desserts, long walks, the beach, flowers, bows, florals, candles, pastels, antiques, thrifting, girly 2000s pop, fairy tales, hiking, the list goes on. That's pretty much me summed up into a list. So let's put these pictures together and make a pretty vibration board. Alright, I think the vibration board is done for now. This is what it looks like. I got my beach house, my two best friends I'm thankful for, inspo pics for the cottage, 
I have my YouTube channel. I crossed out my current subscribers and wrote 1,000 subscribers. It's really hard to write on photo paper, so it's not the best. But then we got Andy. We got the Eiffel Tower, France. I really want to buy a Chanel in Paris. We got some Love Shack Fancy inspo outfit picks. Um, I found this picture on Pinterest, just like antiques, things that I love. Here are the girly friends I'm trying to manifest. And then this is supposed to represent um, love and light and just being a light in this world and unconditional love. We got some pastry since I love dessert. Whenever I'm in, in alignment, I always see 111 or 1111. I always see this everywhere I go when I know I'm in alignment with the universe. And then this is shabby for me. I got this off her Instagram. I actually, um, I'm really inspired by her and her small business and her shabby bracelets. So hopefully this will bring me inspiration to start my small business sometime soon. And then I have a love letter from Andy in our beach house. And it's so perfect that um, this beach house is here because I'm also trying to manifest a white Jeep. So... That is what we have for today on the vibration board. Let me know if you end up doing one. That's going to wrap up today's video. Thank you so, so, so much for watching. I love you. I think I'm going to go back to a schedule for my videos because it holds me more accountable. And I think um, it helps my subscribers know when to expect to see me. So let me know if you rather have a schedule or just sporadic posting days. Let me know what you prefer. I love you. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in a few days.